Hi fam and happy Friday. Our latest will be about Dr. Ndlozi and Gaten McKenzie in Parliament. Let's follow up on that. Today, members of Parliament are in Parliament responding to President's opening speech. Earlier this morning, former Judge President Dr. Chope took to the podium and responded to President's speech. Gaten McKenzie also went to the podium and he tried to ridicule what Dr. Chope said. Ndlozi then told Gaten to leave gang gangster reasoning and read books. Listen to the both of them in the next slide when they were debating in Parliament. And let us know of your take regarding this. And that's all we have for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye. I, I want to say to Honorable Judge Chope, I'm sitting there and I'm shocked because you, Honorable Judge, have sent many of my old friends to jail with Roman Dutch law, which you enjoyed. You were getting the you talk about the blue lights while you were getting the perks of the judge being a judge you never saw something wrong with blue light was was you never saw something wrong with roman dutch law today when you're no longer there now you are seeing something wrong with roman dutch law it cannot be i'm going to pay for an appeal for everybody that has been sentenced by you because you sentenced them was the wrong law according to you. Thank you very much, Honorable. Is now, we have the Sovereign Wealth Fund. We're speaking about the issue of... We're speaking about the issue of minerals being exported. And most importantly, Gang violence. You have listened to us, President. And I would have been a sellout if I was sitting outside. My people walked in the rain. They did door to door for their issues to be represented. Take your seat. There's a point of order on our closing. I'd like to call a point of order, uh, House Chair, because a government minister cannot deliberately mislead the house. There is no sovereign wealth fund in this country. You must withdraw. There's no such a thing. At this stage where you are, it's not those talks by the streets you are having. You must speak facts on behalf of a government. There's no sovereign wealth fund in this country. You must withdraw. Take us serious here. Honorable Minister, can you... There needs not be a speaker on the floor for me to raise an order. I hope we can agree on that. So I'd like... You can proceed. Thank you very much. The judge has written a thesis when he was on the bench. Attacking Roman Dutch law. Honorable Josie. Your illiteracy is not going to help us. Can you please sit down? This judge Honorable has Josie. written papers against Roman Dutch law when he was on the bench. Can you take the art You come and here and you lie. You lie. This judge, this judge spoke about decolonization of the law from the bench. Don't lie here, man. Must read extensive well-researched papers that are peer-reviewed. Yes, sir. And he didn't say anything about sports, about arts. He gets there. Honorable. What's going to happen about the arts? Honorable Minister, can you please sit down? Honorable Minister, can you please proceed? Your peers, you always talk about education, Honorable Minister. Your peers are delivering papers while you are ice boy here being sent around. Must not come to me.